السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام. First of all, my name is Muhammad Ali Mazroui. And some of you know me, some of you don't. Well, the majority do know me, but there's some who don't. I'm a student at CIS from, since grade one, and now I'm graduating from the CIS. And being in the same institution for 12 years teaches you a lot of things. And one thing is that ordinary is boring. Being ordinary is something boring because you see the same faces, the same thing, the same routine, just boring. So I had a decision in my life that I'll do the extraordinary. I'll be different. And one thing is, I'll skip classes, I'll not sit in the classroom, not read my textbooks, and educate myself. Well, it has a side effect and a good effect. Everything has a side effect. Two words to talk. Either travel you or two words to talk. You get the point, you get the Now, first thing that I thought of, why am I going to do that? I'm going to talk. Why am I, what? Why am I fascinated with this history, politics, and the different philosophy? And I said, well, I'm going to do these three things, but what is the topic that I want to think about? And I thought about many topics, and they kept thinking about time. And it turns out to be time is a very universal thing. Yeah, very universal thing. It is just something that you cannot interpret. Because even in us today, more than one million and a half years, and we still don't know what is time. It's still very controversial. Physics, science, bio, uh, physics, science, religion, and even about philosophy. And there's a person that uh, many people actually said, it's said, so many things about time, but still, it's our interpretation of time. The main thing to do about everyone here probably agree that time is that's a succession from past to the present to the future. This is the textbook definition of time. Any physics teacher, any teacher, any person in life will, will tell you that. But let's ask the extraordinary question. Is time in a reality or an illusion? And to better explain that, we look from two different perspectives. One is that time is a fundamental structure of the universe. It's a fundamental thing. We need it. It's there. Since the beginning of time, there is time. And the other one is that time isn't very fundamental, isn't something we're bound to, isn't a flow or a container that we're in. And uh, I actually agree with the second one. Why? Because I hate the word time. I I've been applied to time since my birth. I don't, want, I don't need time in my life. Why should I be applied to something? I gave it value. I gave gold value for the labor that it comes with to get out of the earth. Same thing goes with diamonds, same thing goes with coal, coal or gold. Black gold, black coal. We gave it its value because it's a necessity, it's the, uh, the labor that comes into it. And we didn't have anything to do with time. It was there since the beginning of time. Since the beginning of Big Bang, it was there. And so I wanted to prove my every teacher in class, every all my classmates wrong and since I'm not I don't have a PhD or or at least a bachelor's degree. I'm a PhD student at CIS. What am I supposed to do? Look for a person in history who says something about time. And that was Saint Augustine. He was a bishop. And I don't know what time in history. And he said if the past was not yet, and the future, I mean the past is no more and the future is not yet, then the present is equally proportionally present, then there is no longer time and eternity. Mm. And to better explain that, the philosophy, uh, physics side of it, imagine yourself following a beam of light. And to reach that beam of light, you need to move at the speed of light. And to, speed, to move at the speed of light, you need to go in the, the energy required to move at the speed of light to be infinity. And your mass will be infinity. Infinite. So, both of them are infinite, and once you reach it, you find it fast. You and it fast, but you're moving at a very, very high speed that human beings today can't move in. And since we have time, we calculated that it's not going to be a new world, or not just physics teacher. But we reached that new world, and it is a test. And we are a test. But you know, it's the same question. The past, the time was a flow, and every flow has an end. But but Saint Augustine said that it doesn't have it doesn't happen. It just it goes on it goes around to eternity, and it's not time because the fundamental the, the thing that the, the textbook definition of time is that it's a special path to the present to the future. And we don't know from the future. We don't know there was the future. And we pass it not just there. It's only present, you believe present. And I'm just an illusion. That we are bound to. But I can't I can't convince you of my definition of time because each and every one of us has a different age, has a different personality, has a different way of thinking. And uh, one of the speakers talked about relativity, and the same thing goes with time. It, it, it applies to time. It's what you think of time, it's what you make of it. If you want it to be an important thing to you, then you can make it important. If you don't want to make it important to you, then don't make it. 
We are bound to the watches on the wall and the watches on our wrist. We build these things. Why things that we build? Why should we be bound to them? Why should we put them as a priority? As a, this, how am I supposed to say this? As change on our necks. Well, we, could, so we give it to Salih, we can take it, take it Salih from him. So, just every time somebody asks me about time, I say this, time would be a person who would have been the greatest oppressor since the beginning of time. And thank you. <laughs>